you can just sit there. It's totally fine. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Neil in Capital University. Now we're in Studio F today, and I had a lot of fun shooting the other bad mic shootout, so I thought I'd do another one, and Hope was kind enough to help. The microphones that I'm going to do today are an old-school telephone. This is from a dial telephone. If you can find these at a garage sale, you can buy this. And what's cool, when we were growing up, this is what we would do. These unscrew, and the earpiece and the microphone piece come out. So you could take the microphone piece out, and no one would know, no one would know that you were on the telephone. The speaker is easier to turn into the microphone. So you can see I melted that area. That's normally where the telephone cable would plug into, but I melted that to put the cable in. And that's actually the ear piece, but it's super easy. It's two wires, and you can turn it into a microphone instantly, and we'll hear what that sounds like. The other thing that I was using was this Sony tape deck that I got at a garage sale. Can you guess where I like to spend my Saturdays? This has a built-in um, microphone right here, and what we did is the uh, headphone out, and we ran this. And then if you don't know your tape decks, it has to be play record, and there's a pause button. So now it's, the microphone is engaged. So for those, just a blank cassette. So we'll hear what that sounds like. Well, I have to tell you, I did not think that was gonna work. That was intense. And if you could have heard me processing that Sony tape deck, you, I'm glad my mic wasn't live because I was laughing so hard. That is such a cool sound. But I need to play you the end of the session because I didn't think it was gonna work. When Hope and I were in there, the noise of that cassette deck, the internal machinery noise of those cap stands and moving, even though the, the tape is paused, are so loud, I didn't think it was going to work. So I need to play the end of what that cassette deck was going to sound like, and you can hear how much the internal compressor actually made it usable, but by itself, I didn't think it was going to work. So 